this is objectively subject to this channel and I'm not good at this ASMR thing, but uh yeah, I'm taking over. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. So all the threats that have been hurled at me uh, from Maddie We're not her. have been muted. That's wonderful. Anyway, howdy, y'all. We're here. Again. <laughs> 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 And that was the maniacal laughing portion of the show. And we'll is be this, moving. <laughs> is this bit over yet? I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm hoping so. It's a rough transition. <laughs> so, yes, this is a rough transition, which is what happens when a woman takes over a channel. And that's fine. It's to be expected. It's cool. This is my show now. This is what's happening. And I'm, of course, here with some awesome panelists. Uh, should we go through and name everybody or have we done that enough? I think everybody knows who. We ain't done that any on this channel. No, that's true. On, on this channel? Oh, yeah, because you have a different audience. Well, Objectively Subjective's channel, we have Maddie. Yeah, this is my fucking so. channel. You better fucking be subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> and there was uh, Maddie's plug. And next we have Hashtag Heathen, otherwise known as Casey. Hi, y'all. And I'm we... Hashtag oh. Heathen. <laughs> <laughs> what's your channel about uh hashtag feeling things uh right now there's segments from our friday night show on there and some uh health history for me and i think that's it for now awesome and next we have red venture what's your channel about yeah i'm red venture uh i'm an animated character that does response videos real original <laughs> they're actually they're very good response videos though like you're you're not like the average response video type person you know you actually bring like good arguments well so i try to there's that and next up we have faithless southerner also known as evans that's me Hi. yeah yeah what's yep. what are you about y'all know me i don't even know anymore <laughs> okay <laughs> Well, such is the human condition, right? Yeah, there we go. I did a YouTube once. Once? Are, do you plan on doing it again? I don't know yet. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe. Maybe. Cool, cool. Maybe. I have merch. Did y'all know I have merch? I have merch. Well, and uh, all, You also can get super chats on this channel. <gasps> and I can get super chats. So send super <laughs> chats. Send them super chats. Super chat. Super chat. Yeah. Super, 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 super chat. Yeah. Send the super chat so I can actually know what y'all are saying in the chat because I can't. I can't keep up with yeah, the chat when I'm doing can't these have shows. The chat open. Yeah. Well, it's hard to keep up. There's so many things being said in the chat. But anyway, I have a Teespring store. I've got awesome stuff on it. And right now, uh, it, well, until I stop using the avatar, which will probably be never. Uh, the sales of the Avatar products will, half of the proceeds will go to the original artist, Trey Baldwin. And right now I am running a promo. And uh, if you put in bun for snarky, you get 15% off until uh, Christmas Eve. So B-U-N for snarky, okay? And I have awesome stuff. I the love number four, right? Yeah, the number four. B-U-N, number four, snarky. And we just got $1.49 donated by Sosh, and what? it says, a purple cat. A purple Aww. cat! Purple cat! Thank you, Sosh. Thank you. And I also have, like, my paintings up, and stuff like that. They're so uh, pretty. Thank you! They're pretty. I really like the dragon. Thank you. Yes. Right now, you know, this is the artist that did my avatar. He's uh, doing, like, he's looking for commissions. So check him out on Twitter. He's got great art. It's at Art of T.C. Baldwin. Yeah, at Art of T.C. Baldwin. They can see it. And I like this one. I was just like, what's this? Aww. What's this? That's amazing. So, Trey's yeah. awesome to work with, by the way, as somebody that's not, like, related to him or whatever. Mm -hmm. However, they're, they're in. Well, I'm yeah, not he's fucking super... related to him. I'm not accepting I... that shit. Well... The family resemblance is really strong. <laughs> I'm not sure. We 
are not. I thought you. I thought you were like cousins. No, cousins, first no. cousins, or no. perhaps brothers. No, <laughs> no, he's, yeah, no, we're not. Pretty he's related. Sure. He's related to the other Matt. Yeah, the, there's the, two Baldwin's, the and those two are cousins. <laughs> <laughs> the one that will be on this show sometimes. Which is known as Baldwin. 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 Bald. Yeah. Bald. Uh, I'm confused. So yes. yeah, Maddie's first cousin Trey is great to work Trey with. Trey is not my cousin. Yes, he's my friend. <laughs> anyway, you will see in the chat that they're also being shared is Mrs. Snarky's Patreon, so you can sign up to Mrs. Snarky's Patreon, um, and uh, her Teespring store is shared in the chat as well. It hasn't been shared yet, uh, but awesome. it will be. All right, another thing for you to share, ha <laughs> ha, my red bubble, which yes. is. Which is amazing because you can get all these really cool things on like shower curtains and blankets and things like that. It's awesome. So there's that too. Yeah, I'm not sharing that. You'll have to share that because it has the word red in it and that sounds communist and I am not interested. Oh, for in heaven's that. sake, oh, Maddie. come on. Nope. Wow, hold on just a second. I did make that connection. We've got a red venture in here. Is red oh. a secret commie? Yeah, you're no. going gonna to not <laughs> talk to red anymore? Yeah. Red's like, I'm a communist. I'm a fiscal conservative. Yeah, right. Well, you know. <laughs> You're a freaking tanky and we know it. <laughs> Communists don't tend to like me very much. So this relationship might not. Really? Uh, they love me. They love you? Yeah, we've got all me. They got, they got total crushes on you, Evans. Evans' total social crush. skills might not be up to par. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely true. All right, so y'all want to get into the horrible shit that's going yeah, on. Yeah, let's go from laughter and happiness to, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, so um, a few days ago, U.S. Sailor killed two employees on a joint base, Pearl Harbor, Hickman, before fatally shooting himself. And uh, this happened three days before the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So it was like, Wow. That, that really hit home. I believe uh, the total is two people that died? Let me see. Three. Three? Three two, is the... Two civilians and the, uh, the, <clears throat> yeah. the shooter himself. Yeah, the shooter himself. And this was a maintenance area for uh, nuclear submarines. Can you imagine being mm -hmm. at a place where they have nuclear warheads on submarines and just somebody shooting? No, I don't know. It's not warheads. Yeah, it's no. not war. No, no, the submarines. Nuclear, is... nuclear powered. Yeah, nuclear yeah. powered. No. Power they don't subs. run. They don't no. run submarines with nuclear bombs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm saying not like, exactly the loosest just, sense of the word. Just being around all that and somebody shooting, it just I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it would make me nervous too. They're like, so this is how it's powered. Don't touch that because we'll blow up. <laughs> <laughs> they just set one off behind them and yeah, the wave right. pushes <laughs> him under the water <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah this was really really tragic there's so many shootings now it's just freaking unbelievable so yeah pearl harbor harbor that's yeah that's the thing that happened you know what's wild to me is like okay so you had the uh stabbing in london that happened yeah. i believe it was earlier this week yeah. Um, yeah and you had all of these really out of their mind conservative types on on twitter <laughs> if if they had guns you wouldn't have these problems yeah, except but... uh this last week we've had two military bases yeah that have gotten attacked yeah and and speaking of which this kind of segues into what was going to be my topic so i'm taking over um the, with the second uh the pensacola shooting that happened of course that's right down the road from me and a terrible thing um but of course it was a saudi national that carried out that attack which doesn't actually matter because we you know we had the other attack at pearl harbor but um the amount of people the conservatives coming out of the woodwork calling for and wh who was it that called for the uh called for a reinspection of our foreign national program training their militaries and things like that a governor somewhere i think of florida um mm. it's it's amazing to me the the different kinds of coverage that these things get right just yeah. and, i mean let's call a spade a spade it's essentially racism right because like 
Pearl Harbor was a blip on the radar for, especially for people around here and the Pensacola shooting, which is closer of course, but now we're bringing in all the Saudi nationals for question and it, just the, the amount of uh, vitriol that I've seen online from conservatives over send them back. We need to, you know, go to war with Saudi Arabia. If this was any other country, we'd be mm. over there bombing them, you know, it is, it always blows me away, right? Like just the overt hatred that happens for people from the Middle East, Muslims, yeah. whenever something like this happens, right? Yeah. Base shootings are not, unfortunately, they're not an uncommon occurrence. There's been four this year. Yeah. Right. Oh. And uh, they're across the board. But the only time that they ever make like s s consecutive news cycles is whenever it's somebody of another whenever it's a muslim right and then it's suddenly it's just played out over and over and well, I'm, yeah. I'm like just sick of it well it doesn't right? even have yeah. to be, it doesn't even just have to be a muslim because yeah. um going back to the the uber trump supporter that had all the stickers all over his vehicle yep and uh that was like okay so this guy's not a liberal and then the conservative press was like oh Oh, but he's brown. So we can talk about this one. He's obviously he's obviously not a Trump supporter cuz Yeah. Cause... The double double standard in the framing is just awful. And in this article right here, they don't they don't even tell the name of the shooter, which is kind of it's weird. Like if it's somebody from Saudi Arabia, they're naming them, they're, you know, vilifying them, they're, you know, saying all kinds of things in order to frame them in a way that they're other. Well, that but, was the thing. Well, this this guy's ID, his freaking military ID, was posted like that. Yeah, right? yeah. That's one of the first things that that I saw on it, and uh, it's it's really, I and it's just overt racism, right? Yes, like is. there's just there's no way around it. And I got into a discussion or an argument or something with a uh, uh, a person on Facebook, right, on a news article that was like, we need to send them all back. And I'm like, well, who is what? You know, what are you, right. what are you going on about? Well, the, these shootings just can't keep happening. Well, white men are the, the perpetrators of most of these shootings. No, right? no. So those who are, are we low. sending back and where are we sending them to? Those are just lone wolves, Evans. Yeah, Come exactly. On. Well, but it's just, seriously, <laughs> if you watch, okay, so anytime one of these shootings happen, uh, like Fox News will be relatively silent. The second that they find out that it's anyone but white, it's on every single program. Yep. And yep. it's, I mean, it's really obvious they're wearing their racism on their sleeve when it comes to that. Yeah. It's actual racial bias that's being revealed. There. Or if they find out they <laughs> voted for a Democrat, then they're, then they'll oh. talk about it. Oh God. Uh, yeah. This is obvious. Or, um, shoot. Who is the, um, uh, what was one of the shoot? Was it uh, Dayton this year? Or was it uh, the one in Texas that uh, um, just happened to say some things about climate change on on uh, uh, on his Facebook? Yeah, I think yeah, it was. And that was the only thing yeah. they could try to connect to yeah. to him being a a, a liberal. So. Yeah, they got a really really stretch. But when There's, it's somebody that's radicalized by the right, you can go to their Facebook and see all kinds of woo, interesting and awful things that I can't probably would getting a lot of trouble for talking about uh you know but yeah that's and what you know and i think if you know like you said uh i haven't read the the article in here but uh, the name and stuff are kept out i mean i think generally um there is some evidence to do that with any of the shooters any and all of them you know for the mass shooters is keep keep the names keep the mm -hmm. images and stuff out of it but uh no it's kind of a, a double standard they have when they're going to show it when they don't yeah oh yeah totally um so since we are kind of segueing into this topic anyway did you want to talk about the ups truck yeah um so this was a real uh, bad one that happened here uh thursday um there was a uh break-in um at a jewelry store in florida um so they they shot it. There was a, a gunfight that happened first between um, the the two people that would eventually uh, abduct uh, the UPS driver and commandeer his uh, uh, truck. Um, 
stole jewelry uh, from a jewelry store and got into a, a shootout with the owner. So they fled there. So you know, someone who was already done, uh, or a couple people who have already done violence. Um, but then they um, caught up and abducted this UPS driver. And so uh, the video has been going around. It's uh, kind of crazy, but uh, they got into a high speed chase and in crowded traffic, um, the UPS truck kind of got uh, slowed down. You know, it was, I don't know if it was rush hour or what uh, time or anything there for him, but uh, yeah, there was cars all over the place. And then the police uh, began opening fire in the UPS truck. And so, Jeez. yep, they ended up, um, killing the two perpetrators but they also killed the ups driver and they also uh killed the uh, innocent bystander a uh, 70 year old man that was sitting in his car at a light and if you watch the video of course of course they did yeah and if you like... watch if you if you if you've seen the video they were hiding behind civilian cars so people are in there and stuff so they're drawing you know if uh as far as i know they weren't shooting um at him at that point it was just kind of the uh they had shot at the jewelry store, which was kind of the thing that, all right, we're going to have to be use deadly force here. But yeah, they just opened fire. Um, <sighs> and if you've seen the video, you see the UPS uh, driver while they're stopped trying to sneak out and you can see him get hit a couple of times and he ends up dead. It's I, uh, have, I have not seen the video yet. Oh, it is. I, um, it's nerve wracking. Yeah. It's definitely something that should come with a content warning. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm definitely not going to play it. Oh, um, yeah, definitely not. But yeah, so they, um, yeah, so they, they, they unloaded in, in a busy, um, you know, busy street, everybody there. And, you know, it's, um, I'm not Jesus. a, um, <laughs> I kind of um, roll my eyes at some of the, uh, the A cab position, but uh, you see something like yeah. this and it's like, yeah, yeah, uh, it makes you want to reconsider it. Um, at well, some I point just, uh, looking at this like there's some things that so were the uh hostage takers slash jewels they were armed yeah they were armed yes. so they had been in, they had been in a, a firefight with the jewelry store owners that they robbed from i'm just i just i don't know it uh, it's hard it's, to call it's sometimes so, like i i'm not taking the side of the cops on this because i think if you're opening fire in a very populated area yeah, and using other people and, as shields. Yeah, using other yeah. cars as shields and shit like that. I, something went absolutely wrong there. Uh, well, I mean, what? Ha I, yeah, it was. What happened was it just the traffic and everything stopped the UPS trucks, and so the officers started to move in, but they're firing from, you know, several lanes over, um, mm. at the at the car. I mean, it's one at the UPS truck. I mean, it's and one thing if you get up. An innocent person died. What's though, right? mind boggling cool. about it is like, why, why would, <clears throat> like, if the if the UPS truck is already stopped, wouldn't there be things that you could do to prevent that car from that UPS truck from moving? Try and clear away the traffic. Yeah, there, yeah. there's Something. things they they could have done. Like, there, you know, if they were gonna, you know, it's one thing <clears throat> if they had gotten up. Like, if you watch the video, like it's a couple lanes away. And they're hiding behind the cars in the lane next to them and firing from there. Um, and they just kind of just opened fire. As far as I know, there was no uh, firing at them. It was just that, oh, they had used, uh, um, they, had, they had opened fire in the jewelry store. And so that was about the only mm. um, thing they were going on. But, um, you know, had they approached the vehicle, you know, closer, you know, before that, before deciding if they should fire or not, um, might have saved it there. Um, there's just, uh, there's Something. one, uh, yeah, it, it, there, there's things they could have done. Um, there's some criticisms in this Washington post article, but different things. Um, but there's one here that, uh, um, uh, it, it, it's, you know, from, uh, FBI agent, uh, George Pirro. And <laughs> he says it's, uh, um, he says it's, completely inappropriate to discuss whether UPS driver or the bystander may have been hit by officer's gunfire. What? I mean, I, is... I have no idea. That's the only thing in this article that comes out in support for me. Protect kind of your own. Professional. Yeah, exactly. As the FBI agent. And it's like, oh, you... Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's what blew me away about the thing because I watched the video, as awful as it was, and the UPS truck stopped in traffic and the police immediately closed. Like there was yeah. no, they, they wheeled in with cars and you can see them coming up on both sides 
and they're moving around. And at the, the point that they start moving up on the UPS truck, the hijackers open fire yeah. uh, looks like on police and the police return fire. Right. With like out any, I mean, they just, they riddled the UPS truck. Jesus. Who knows where the hostage was at. And apparently well, the hostage the police, you could see from the one angle was in um, by the door trying to slide out. So he was uh, tied yeah. up, trying to slide out and you could see, you know, the gunfire go into him. That's yeah. going through the UPS. It's, truck. it's, it's just, uh, you know, it, there was so many, I, I can't believe that it was handled like that. Like, yeah. it was, you know. I guess I do have a, if, if, if the hostage shakers had already started opening fire. Yeah. See, then, I, I didn't see that in the video and I didn't, I didn't look like that to me. The, um, they had, if that were the case. Then, then it's a different story. Possibly yeah. the police opening fire, even though it was a crowded area, could have prevented more people from being hit. Yeah, by, but uh, if they, but if well, they it, it looked like in. to me, it looks like it looked like to me because it from and I watched it a couple of times, and I may be totally mistaken here, but it looked like to me that they opened fire whenever the police got like yeah. around the vehicle. It wasn't they were coming in the, hot. They were they were coming in hot, and they knew that they were armed, right? Yeah. And so. Like, I, I don't know. It, it seems to me that there would be an infinite number of ways to handle that situation better. Oh, yeah, and they just, definitely. They decided, hey, yeah. we're going to. And we see know, this. It time... wasn't like they were driving down the road, shooting up random cars. Right. They had just stopped and the police immediately collapsed in. And like, Ooh. that's not it's a hostage situation. Right. Yeah. Like you're supposed to not shoot the hostage. See, you're supposed like, at to the same be... time. Like when I was when I went through training for a prison, um, they just outright told us if you were taken as hostage um, and we come in and you're not on the floor, you're dead too. Mm. Um, Cause that's the... like, that's what they do. They just go in shooting. And if yeah. you're not down on the floor, you're going to get shot up too. And this is why we see time and time again, police officers killing people or injuring them severely simply because they haven't been trained to de-escalate a situation as opposed to just coming in hot guns blazing. Why don't you, I don't know, use your brain and try to think better of the situation, have some tactics like that. We see all kinds of people getting shot by police over and over again when it could have been avoided and an, i think it boils down to how these cops are trained i don't think that they're inherently ba bad uh i think yeah. it's just insufficient training and we have a system that's put in place like maddie said where it's hey if you're in a hostage situation we can't protect you and it's like wait a minute aren't you supposed to serve and protect what is your actual code so i think Definitely well, more often than not in those situations it's trying to protect the 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 majority as opposed to the minority well sure it's like this utilitarian um, kind of value you know but know still someone's gonna go same. away from this going maddie's taking the side of the cops completely <laughs> and that's no, not definitely what i'm doing not. i'm just like i'm one of those people i'm actually trying to go at it from different directions and figure this out i think it's completely fucked up that they open fire in a very populated area definitely um, they could they could have by their time they could have you know kind of tailed and tracked the vehicle until it got to a less populated area they could have funneled them into somewhere that you know was rural you see, know that, and that's what i'm thinking like okay <sighs> like who all remembers like the oj simpson simpson chase and how that, do, that highway that. was like completely empty. Yeah, it was just OJ. See, that's that's generally what you would, if you know you yeah. have uh, criminals in a vehicle, have a hostage, and they're going in a certain direction, you clear out the highway or the roads as best as you can so that, that you can do what Snarky just said. Then you can just have you, the, the uh, you can just have the cops and the hostages or the hostage takers on the road and try to do it in a better fashion. But like, I don't, it seems like they were pretty trigger happy on this one. Yeah. I, I think cooler heads did not prevail. I think that we need to get some cops that are trained 
to have cooler heads because well, I mean, in this one too, like, um, it is something that's, uh, not a situation most of them will ever, ever face. Yeah. No, like it's no. not a situation you can really train for really. It's, it's like if you're, uh, oh. But there are steps that need to be taken. Yeah. Yeah. Really in in training, regardless of like the surprise of the situation. Like look at situations with um mentally disabled people. Yeah. yeah. Those if you're dealing with a schizophrenic, especially a paranoid schizophrenic, you're not gonna know what they're going to do. But mm. if you have that basic training there are workarounds that you can take or plans of actions that don't yeah. involve just shooting the person. Yeah. And how many times have we seen uh, somebody who was had autism and the police didn't know how to handle the yep. situation and they got injured or mm -hmm. traumatized or something like that. Uh, you, when you have somebody that can't understand or can't quite, you know, connect what it, what your instructions are, which I struggle with that myself, and you're yelling at them and you're pulling a gun on them like that that's not ethical you, they these cops need to learn how to deal with that kind of situation because if they can't understand or you can't understand what's going on then you need to get that clarity before you act um so yeah de-escalate y'all silence yes no i'm, I'm with so you I think, like de-escalation <laughs> is something that needs to be <laughs> definitely needs to be trained uh more when it comes to police officers uh, yeah like and the thing is like really all it took was probably one cop starting to fire back oh yeah sure. oh yeah no once they hear gunfire yeah. yeah um yeah or just riding in and surrounding some desperate criminals who had just gotten out of a jewelry store robbery uh yeah that that was not well planned. I think they could have done better. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot of weirdness to it. Definitely. All right. So do we, are we ready to move on? Yeah, I got nothing else. Um. All right. <laughs> so we have Casey's topic. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right. Well, this involves a husky and microwave, some bread rolls, and a fire. Nice so, combo. <laughs> 25 miles east of London um, is where this dog calls home, and his owner happened to check the camera feed live from his kitchen on his phone and saw smoke coming out. Um, what they found out is that the dog turned on the microwave and there were bread rolls in the microwave, which ignited and started a fire, um, which, you know, obviously they weren't against. Uh, the fire department said, when we arrived, the kitchen was filled with smoke. Firefighters ensured that the damage did not spread beyond the kitchen area, but it demonstrates that microwaves shouldn't be used to store food when they're not in use. Our advice is to always keep your microwave clean and free of clutter or food or any packaging. Animals or children can turn them on more easily than you might think, so please don't run the risk. Um, the dog wasn't hurt. Um, the, the guy's kitchen has some pretty hefty damage, though. But uh, yeah, so I guess don't leave food in your microwave when beings other than yourself can turn it on. Where is this microwave? Uh, like, what the... Uh -huh. They That's said it was I'm on wondering. the counter. It was on the counter. Uh, but yeah. the, if you know huskies, huskies can get up on a counter. Well, single. yeah. I'm just so. This husky got up on the counter and pushed a button. Well, you know what? I mean, it would if it's on the counter and stuff, it's probably sitting there right on the edge, you know, that yeah. could just stand up, uh, you know, pause on the on the counter and reach the buttons. You know right. what? And I think there's bread. There's bread in there. Push. I think. Oh shit! This yeah. is this is an insurance fraud case gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't burn all the way up. The dog. The dog. He had dog bread rolls good. in the microwave. <laughs> next, Oops. Next off forensic files. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Have Have y'all ever stored food in your microwave? I've never stored food in there. I've known people that did, and they would tell me to, and I would just. See, this this makes me feel a lot better about myself because I've always been kind of paranoid about putting food in the microwave. Yeah. Just for storage because I've 
I was afraid that somebody would do that, that very thing, just hit a button accidentally or on par purpose or whatever. I, and <laughs> I frequently uh, just run around and turn my microwave on. I've never known just at <laughs> random. I've, I've never I don't open so. the door and put anything in. I'm just like, okay, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like hearing it run. I've when never... you have kids, though, I mean, you I've... gotta watch everything, especially I've... if they're quiet. I've never known anyone to store food in their microwave, but I did go to a friend's house where they, after we re after the fact, we realized they stored their Tupperware in their oven. Yep, that oh, happened no. to a friend of mine. No. Yeah, that was oh my bad. God. Well, you see that that's more didn't... understandable though because you can preheat the oven without checking it out. You know, you just go up and like, okay, here you go. But the microwave, I don't know. I don't either. Yeah, but my... I know I don't buy this story. <laughs> my <laughs> my funny my boss actually tried to burn our break room down this week oh, he put in a, uh, a a mini bag of popcorn oh and, i put it on the full setting and hit the popcorn button and oh, then no. walked away to go to the bathroom while his popcorn was popping and when he came back in the popcorn was on fire yep. <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah but who hasn't done that <laughs> Uh, me? me i have not done that <laughs> there's there's still time yeah that is true <laughs> wow no but... i go for the full-on bag i don't buy those little yeah. mini bags. Right. i that's, need a full bag that's what he gets for buying the mini bags yeah. that's right. he eats a small bag of popcorn that's Freaking right communist. people who don't get super chats so send super chats so we can buy full bags of popcorn yay that Yay. would actually help us with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This oh, is... Wellington. I keep my ammo in the microwave. Don't judge. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm judging you. I'm, this uh, is I judgment. keep mine in the oven. Keeps it dry. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> That's from totally... Alabama. I could believe that. <laughs> Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those aren't fireworks. What is oh, this? Oh, your your buddy, your other Alabama buddy isn't on tonight. I know. Aw. Well, anyway, so next subject. Hey, Trump is being impeached. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah. It's fake. It's it's all it's fake. Totally <laughs> fake. I heard I heard from Fox News that <laughs> You can't have an impeachment at Christmas time. So this is all just going to be put on hold. Oh, I guess that Bill Clinton impeachment was fake news, huh? Shh. Santa's going to stop it. <laughs> uh, Santa's so going to stop it. We did so, get a uh, $1.49 from Sash. Yay, thank you, Sash. For a, a red box of popcorn. <laughs> yay, we can have a full bag. Full bag bag yes i almost said box i was like mm, that's not quite right now you anyway. don't want to pop the whole box at the same time <laughs> so i guess do y'all want to listen to nancy announce the thing so in america no one is above the law over the past <laughs> few weeks the <laughs> working except the people the that are right oversight <laughs> the rich people the american people have heard the testimony of truly patriotic career public servants, That's true. distinguished diplomats, and decorated war heroes. Yep. Some of the president's own appointees. Yep. Yeah, but they were never the Trumpers. Facts are uncontested. Oh, huh. fake news. The president news. abused his power. Yes, he for did. For his own personal political benefit. Abused his power. Security by withholding so military pause it for aid a little bit. and crucial overall. Because you don't want to play the whole thing. Well, I just wanted her to get to the part to where she mentioned you know he used the power of his office to get dirt on his political rival for rival for a foreign government mm -hmm. he that was a perfect call yeah there was nothing yeah. that's why it took him forever yeah. to release the transcripts and why he won't let anybody testify yeah that's why they put it on the uh top secret server right of course Look, ah. I, Jeez, if, you if, never trumpers if i could if I had a nickel for every time I didn't want people to know what I said on a phone call that was perfect, that nothing bad happened, I'd be broke. <laughs> you know what? And what's really funny about all of this is the whole locker up thing because her emails, the server, what about his fucking server? What about his server? 
Well, the fact is, is that like Ivanka has been doing government business on a private server the whole time. WhatsApp. They've been doing oh. government <laughs> business over yeah. WhatsApp. Well, this, this is like the, <laughs> the dumbass tweets that he doesn't use an unsecured phone. Yeah. Right. Or the show uh, is location. Only, and, and it's, yeah, and it's Twitter <laughs> for iPhone. And they don't use any iPhones. The government does not issue iPhones. Yeah. Like, it's just, yeah, remember when oh. he was going to the, I think it was the Middle East or something like that, somewhere that was a very volatile place to be in. It showed his location. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa. So, and another thing that she goes into, which I won't play the rest of the video, but. Well, you can start it back up if you want to. I just said you need to cut it up. Oh, the well. Well, oh. fine. All this meeting in exchange for an announcement of an investigation into his political rival. Yesterday, the Judiciary no, Committee, he never did that. the Judiciary Committee, the American people, it wasn't about Biden. It was about leading American Biden. constitutional scholars. Yeah, and what was really great was when uh, Mulvaney came out and was like, "Yeah, this is what we do. Get over it. Like, <laughs> we uh, did the corruption. Like." The, wow. the narrative changes that have happened over the course of this investigation. It was a perfect call. No quid pro quo. Of course it was quid pro quo. We do that all the time. Get over it. Yeah. You know, it's, I, I just, you think, oh, you know, it's, you'd think, right? Well, I mean, they did email their talking points out to the DNC, but what yeah. they would at least be able to get together in a room and go, okay, it, what's our story going to be on this? Right? Like, the, can you I imagine talk- if this administration was competent? Look, I just want to talk to the whistleblower. Yes. That's, yeah. that's what well, I want. Yeah. Not only None they- of these people were on the call, except they were on the call, a lot of them. But not only did they email out that stuff, then you had the whole stunt where people that were allowed into the meeting stood outside of the meeting acting like they weren't allowed in the meeting. Yeah, and then yeah. they stormed it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gats and the gats and them, yeah. yeah. They don't allow any Republicans except for the, you know, the ones that are that are in there already. Thirty one Republicans yeah. were in that room. Yeah. If, if I recall Something like that. correctly. Yeah. 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 But none. No, no. None. We're getting you, we're getting impeachment for Christmas, y'all. Yes. That doesn't mean removal, just just for well, the record. Okay, and that's something yeah. people just don't grasp. So Trump has been in the impeachment process ever since they announced that they were starting the investigations. No, no, no due process. No, you gotta no listen. Due process. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> so the impeachment process started as soon as they started investigating and saying we're investigating for impeachment. And then once they vote on this and they actually start bringing out the, the articles, Trump has been impeached. Mm-hmm. Um, he just hasn't been impeached by the Senate. Like if if the, the Congress can vote to impeach him, well, that's a president that's been impeached. Yep. It's just not sure what's going to happen when it once it gets to the Senate. Yeah, and then people, once it gets to the Senate, they'll vote on whether or not he'll be removed from office. Yeah. What do y'all think the Senate's going to do? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Gee, it's a mystery. It's a, it's a total mystery. Yeah. Vote him out. What's really great about all this is Trump and at all. And all of his, you know, cronies have been saying, well, you're not giving him a chance to defend himself. And yet he's the one that's rejecting going to these meetings. He's not allowing anyone in his staff or he's blocking a lot of people that were on the call that know about this, that know about anything about the administration. He's blocked them from going to the hearings and testifying. There have been subpoenas that were ignored. The Trump said, hey, ignore the subpoenas. What? Like, it's crazy, y'all. It's it's a it's a wonderful time to be alive. Uh, (laughs) Oh man, yeah, life is weird. Wonderful time of the year. So So, weird. I just hope that one at some point in time he takes the stand. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Oh, that'll be glorious. I just I really hope that that happens. Like I don't think that they'll that anybody will allow that to happen no. but i hope Probably that he not. gets so fed up with it that he's like well you know what i'm gonna go i'm just gonna do it I'm and he just he just takes off and does a trump thing and he condemns himself <laughs> so 
so completely that the Republicans have to just go, well, you know what? Let's get off of this burning ship. Do you think that's what we're seeing, actually? Because he'll tweet out. He'll tweet out. I want to do it. I want to go in there. Yeah. And is that Trump actually saying, yeah, I want to do this. I want to get in there. And everybody around Trump's going, please go back to sleep. (laughs) Take the pill. Take. He don't want nothing. He wanted no quid pro quo. We should tell Zelensky to do the right thing. <laughs> this is the final one <laughs> uh, from the no, press no, of the no, U.S. No, no, yeah, no. yeah. Anyway. I, I I just I hope that that's the case. I hope that he thinks that he can just bluster his way through this this actual like the articles of impeachment and everything the next step that's going through you know and and somehow just royally screws the pooch that would be amazing so these current tactics that he's been you know abstract abstract and you know don't engage just you know smear campaign all over twitter and anywhere to anyone that will listen uh the pigeons the freaking square i mean he'll tell everyone (laughs) it's a witch hunt you know but is that tactic going to continue to work as we see this process uh, go forth? Yes. I, yeah, I don't see how it doesn't with his base and with the uh, with the right wing, with the Republican Party. So what I'm hearing is, if we, as you know, if I say we as in Democrats, use the same tactics, how would that play out? <laughs> I, it nothing would ever get done period huh. across the board if we just it, well i mean nothing's getting done currently yeah, i mean I there's so many say, the gop had every everything dies branches. on the senate floor yeah the <sighs> gop had the majority and got nothing done so it would be quit it would be status quo yeah i yeah, i don't know this is this is also uh, unprecedented unbelievably, yeah <laughs> i mean look we got we got North Korea is sending out official announcements, you know, that if if uh, Donald Trump doesn't stop calling their leader Rocket Man, they're going to go back to using a slur for him. Like, yeah. what in the fuck is going on? It's weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's like... People are cussing we- on CNN now. I mean, it's yeah, crazy. It, it, whenever <laughs> I saw that, like, the, the, the right-hand man of North Korea is like, yeah, we're going to start calling Donald, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was With the official. What? The Is official, that an official release? Yeah, we're gonna official. we're gonna start calling him names. I mean, come <laughs> on. Yeah, the official notice from North Korea. Oh my God, how embarrassing! Like, he, like, we got a president that still doesn't even understand what the World Bank does. Because he no, was that ranting, is very true. He was ranting about China's taking out loans from the World Bank. What are they doing? They got plenty of money. That's not how world economies work it's not any of this this works works. it's not like this is why we don't need a president to run the country like a business because it's it's nothing like a business loan it's not like like china's going oh shit we're running low on money better go to world bank no it's it's part of the global economy it it's not deutsche bank to him right no You mean to tell me that China didn't run down to their local regions branch and get turned down? No, they didn't get turned down, so they went to the World Bank. No, they didn't. That's not how this works. Are you sure? Thirteen percent APR, (laughs) y'all. Do you think that China did a title loan with the World Bank? (laughs) They they never towed the note. I know that. China just Here. takes down like an 83 Camaro. <laughs> what can, what, can, I do what can I get for this? Sixty <laughs> percent interest seems pretty high, but okay. Oh my god! They were well, one step I mean, away from the payday advance loan. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> Those, those payday advance loans, they will charge you like 120%. Oh, and shit. Yes. They are a straight up rip. Don't do yeah. it. Don't no. get your, don't get an advance. And don't do paycheck. title loans either. Yeah, don't yeah, do title don't. loans. But I hear the World Bank is a great place to go. <laughs> you know, if you need to reform, <laughs> refinance your mortgage, you just, yeah. you just go to the World Bank. They'll take care of you. I'm gonna die, y'all. 
Oh, so Evans, did you have a topic? I sort of already covered mine, so. Oh, you did? All right. Well, let's talk about the next awful fucking thing. Yay, awful shit. So Trump is uh, moving to remove 700,000. 700,000 people from food stamps. And basically he came out and he's like, these people need to work. They need to work. Let me tell you something. Most of the people in poverty that utilize food stamps and TANF and things like that, they're fucking working. Yeah. Like 33%, a big chunk of these people that are depending on food stamps do work. Yeah. Eh, eh. So scroll down so you get to where what the change actually is if it's in this article. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say the change so, is, is so ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, so he's argued. I told you what he was argued. They don't need to. They don't need to give him the strong economy and lo- low unemployment. That's not how this shit works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the program provides food to 36 million Americans. The ad- administration has now finalized a rule that tightens guidelines on when and where states can waive limits on how long certain residents can receive benefits the changes will move more toward able-bodied adults quote unquote able-bodied into the workplace states are uh, according to what he told reporters states are seeking waivers for wide swathes of their population and millions of people who could work are continuing to receive snap the United States generally limits the amount of time that the adults get it, yada, yada. Uh, states can have... <laughs> what? I love that it's the agriculture secretary that says this, because agriculture is doing fucking gangbusters right now. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's so many jobs, they can go out there and get it. Meanwhile... Free you tractor. Know. Hey, if you're in food stamps, instead of the food stamps, we'll give you a tractor. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that's what we need. Uh, tractor. And the way the tariffs are going, a lot of the farmers are going to need food stamps. I mean, holy shit. Nah, they'll All get right. bailouts. Don't worry about it. Uh, true that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, counties with unemployment rates as low as 2.5% have been included in the waived areas, according to Agriculture, which runs SNAP. Uh, they're stiffening guidelines defining where the recipients can reside in order to be eligible for waivers and standards, whether the area has enough jobs to justify a waiver. waiver. So this is really just a way to deepen the divide between classes too, because if you live in a certain place, you get these benefits. It's, uh, anyway, uh, the United States unemployment rate was 3.6 in October. Uh, Purdue said we need everyone who can work to work. Uh, of course, it's gonna hurt poor Americans. Um, according to U.S. Representative Marsha Fudge, this is an unac- unacceptable escalation of the administrative's war on working families and comes during a time when too many are forced to stretch already thin budgets to make ends meet. Uh, okay. The administration has sought to tighten requirements for food stamps without congressional approval after Congress tr- uh, blocked a Trump-backed effort to pass new restrictions through the f- Farm Bill last year. So he's tried this before, y'all. So King Trump is going to go around Congress again. Okay, so the latest rule will take into effect next year and save the U.S. government $5.5 billion over five years, which isn't really all that much money. That's by removing, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> by removing about 688,000 people from food stamps. Uh, they're really making a dent in that trillion-dollar deficit. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that's absolutely nothing. Over five yeah. years, that's that's nothing when it comes. Well, to the, this yeah. this is nothing more than pandering to the the conservative base, though, right? Yeah. Like this is something, that especially here, where around where I live, all of the government deficit problems are because people are on food stamps and welfare. That's that's what everybody here honestly believes to be the case. Uh, and which shows you that they know absolutely jack all about any of this. Right. And, but that's what they, that's what they think. And so people, I know people that will celebrate this move. Yes. This is a wonderful thing. This is what we need to do. Trump's really balancing the budget and he's, he's really knocking down that deficit and that's going to be great. And look at all the money that we're saving. And it's like, it's, but it's absolutely nothing. Right. And a lot of them, 
go ahead. Sorry, go go ahead. No, no, I, I was essentially done. I was just going to say a lot of them have families and kids and grandchildren that rely on this. As it says here in the NPR article, uh, 44% who rely on SNAP have at least one person in the family working. When it comes to families on SNAP with kids, the majority, 55%, are bringing home wages. So it's not like they don't have jobs, it's they aren't for earning a living wage. Wages have remained pretty much, they've gone up a little, but when you take into account the inflation over the past 30, 40 decades, 30, 40 decades, three or four decades, <laughs> three or four Dang. decades, yeah. now, if you take into account the inflation over the past few decades, we're not earning enough for people to make it. The cost of living is higher. And the mm -hmm. places where people were able to work, the uh, what they call brick and mortar kind of jobs aren't available anymore. So we've seen a whole lot of a decline, especially in you know, the sparsely populated areas where the only thing that they had was coal or the Walmart or, well, a lot of the Walmarts are breaking. So there's, there's an unbelievable percentage of Walmart employees that are also have to receive benefits. Yes. Well, that, and that's a lot. Uh, Walmart pushes for that too. They're one yeah, of the yep. biggest lobbyists for those benefits. So, yep. you know, people want to complain about uh, subsidizing Walmart employees. Well, I mean, get on Walmart to pay them better. Yeah. Just yeah. think of how much we could save. Uh, just I, for I forget what the stat is. Uh, there was a couple of years ago. I saw something like 900,000, about 1.5 million, a single Walmart store costs the community. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Some, something like to that, to that effect. It is a staggering amount. Staggering. Well, this, so this is it's it, just ridiculous. This is to put it into like this is let's say you earn five hundred dollars a week. You know you're gonna spend six hundred dollars in the week, and you found a way to somehow save the pocket lint. No. Yeah. That's what this amounts to. It's not even a penny of that. It's nothing. It's at they're saving nothing by doing this, and it's bullshit. Yeah, and that's the thing. And when you look more into this, uh, at least a quarter of these people that are quote unquote able bodied that they're talking about ages 18 to 64, they are working more than 50, 50 weeks. So uh, the argument just does not pan out. It does not pan out. And it definitely is going to affect the poor and it's going to affect Trump supporters. The people that voted in, in, him in, it's going to affect them. It's going to affect their family, their children, and their grandchildren. But the only well, thing not, that not only people that. are going to be thinking about is it's going to be affecting more black and Latino. Yeah, it's going Those to make Trump the supporters, libs. That's all they're going to be thinking about in terms of this cut. Well, 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 not only that, cry. I mean, this is food, just in case anybody didn't know, is absolutely... Uh, pivotal, pivotal what? for yeah for uh, childhood development, yes. right? And like WIC is not great, um, no. And so you're it, there's a compounding effect that goes along with these things. It's like it's the ridiculousness that we don't provide lunches to school kids, mm -hmm. right? Because not getting the proper nutrition is going to impair these people's development and then whenever they grow up to be adults they won't be as functional as they possibly could be that's why right. providing quality education so whenever they enter the workforce mm -hmm. they're already behind like this is that's why if you're if you really care about increasing let's say gdp or whatever metric you want to use things like education proper nutrition for children or abs and, and good health care should be at the top of your list because your kids are your future workforce, right? And you yes. want them healthy and you want them smart. And so, and because healthy and smart kids generate more wealth over the course of their life. So even yes. if you're going to make a straight capitalistic argument for these things, you, even if you just say, well, we're going to suck all the empathy out of it, a, a great case can be made for universal health care, providing kids with food and making sure that they're educated properly. And those are all things that this administration just guts right? Yeah. <clears throat> they don't yeah. care about the money. That's, I mean, it, it, regardless of what they 
say on paper or what they, you know, uh, pretend to be, they're not looking, they're not looking at it like anybody with a brain would like anybody that actually cares about long-term financial security for their country. Exactly. Very, very strong argument, I think, if you're a fiscal conservative, right? Mm -hmm. Um, One thing that it says here that I wanted to point out, in 2014, 82% of the working poor who usually worked full-time experienced at least one of the major labor, labor market problems, according to Bureau of Labor Statistics. Low earnings continue to be the most common problem with 67 percent subject to low earnings either as the major problem or in combination with other labor market problems so this is the number one issue in my opinion is wages we do something about the wages we give people i don't know enough money to live on maybe snap wouldn't be such a major problem maybe these companies who were gouging taxpayers need to be held accountable for their wages, what they're paying people, and they're just sucking the system dry. Well, what, what has it been? Has it been 13 years since they raised the minimum wage? Was it 2007? Something like 2006, that. 2006, somewhere around and there. And then yeah. it was, and oh, it was man. in increments too. It well, was but, a little bit here, like, a little bit there. It's been stagnant at 725 for at least a decade. Yeah. yeah. And things do not cost the same as they did a decade ago. No, they do no. not, especially with these fucking tariffs in place. You, you, well, but the thing is, seven twenty-five a decade ago wasn't even a livable wage. No, uh, not even close. Uh, it, uh-uh. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. We give the these people get shitty jobs. That, that that's all they can get. It's not. Be, I'm not saying that they're going out there to try and find <laughs> shitty jobs, but they're filling shitty jobs run by shitty employers who don't pay them more because they know they can get benefits. And now we're going to penalize them even more. Yeah. And just for the record here, uh, the poverty guidelines for each household, according to HHS, uh, a poverty level for a household of four is an annual income of 25,750 to get poverty level for larger add 4,000 or so for each additional person in the household. So, I mean, and that's really like scraping it. 25,000 a yeah, year? Yeah, that's, that's unbelievably. Four? Yeah, that's for a family of four. Yeah, for a that's... family of four. There's no way. Yeah, so that's another thing that I think needs to be addressed too, is the poverty level right now is not sustainable. You can't sustain a family of four on that annual income. I'm sorry, you just can't, especially if you have to pay Especially if you have a car, how are you going to afford insurance? What if you get a ticket? Well, that, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Thing. There was another thing with this that if you had over, what was it, like $2,800 in assets, like it, it mm-hmm. disqualified for you. Yeah, that's, if you have a car. That's if you super, have a car, right? If like yeah. you got a freaking 2002 it's, Corolla. Yeah, well, sorry, car, I guess you don't need to eat. If you have like, a car that's over like worth uh, two grand. Yeah. Then, then you aren't eligible for like TANF, I think, at least in Texas. Yeah. You can't that, have that stuff. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And and so how are these, because public transport is a fucking joke. How are you going to get back and forth to right? work? Like, yeah. Especially you know. in rural areas, there isn't yeah. fucking public transport. Yeah. There oh, isn't yeah. shit like that. You need a fucking car. If you want access to groceries, you need a car. You know how long we had to fight for Houston Metro? Oh, I bet you a long time. In Houston. It was like a big freaking deal. And they were talking about having it expand to go to these uh, other college towns that people were, uh, you know, commuting to. Oh, no, we're going to fight about that, too. And I I think to this day, they haven't uh, established a metro that does that. I've got to point something out here because I so twenty five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars is the poverty level. For a household income of four if you take that and divide it by 52 and then divide that by 40 hours you get 12 dollars and 38 cents an hour so in yeah. order for someone to make more than poverty they have to earn at least 12 dollars and 39 cents an hour yeah and, we're back and here. work 40 well, hours i, I mean hours. yeah so 
Well, I mean, if it's a household of four, you have two people, yeah. two people working, it's less than that. But yeah, still, but yeah, still, it's not. You know how many single uh, parent households there are? I mean, it's staggering. Yeah, we had a family of five. It was four kids and mom. Well, I mean, even in that, like if you're working, if you had two people working a minimum wage job, chances are they're not working full 40 hours a week. No. No. And that's yeah. another you know, big problem is is companies do not give full time hours. Yeah. If you have a right to work state, oh my God. Oh my God. I mean Well, and try to try to get two companies that are are putting you on a part time schedule to work with the other's hours. Mm-hmm. Oh, they won't. Yep. They They'll won't. fuck your hours just to yeah. screw over that second job for you. Yeah, and yep. then then you'll get fired from that because you're in a right to work state, and they could just oh we're aggravated at you a little bit. So, ugh, this is just such a fucking mess. That's the whole thing when someone says, "Well, just get another job." That's not it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's possible. not that easy. Not a, yeah. yeah. And then you got people that are protesting, you know, low wages and th- things like that. And you got people online going, well, why aren't you at your job now? Oh, oh yeah, God. that too. The ignorance, the ignorance is just astounding. Well, yeah, and we were, we were, we brought up invisible disabilities in chat and Wellington said, people be ignorant and glad to stay that way. And they really are. Yeah. You can tell them till you're blue in the face. Um, these poverty levels and and do the math right in front of them and they will not understand it because they just have this answer in their head yeah and you just get another job right no it's not possible well yeah it is like (laughs) no (laughs) or or just tell them hey most of the people on food stamps are working no no i don't think so well and the thing is our, our our entire welfare system in the u.s is a it's it's a punishment system Mm -hmm. because if you get on food stamps or something and you're trying to get out of poverty if you're trying to get away to where you can uh make more money as soon as you start to make more money your benefits drop yeah yeah so it's like um this is what uh milton friedman was talking about um when he was proposing the negative income tax was that um, people on the welfare benefits get taxed, you know, like 120%, you know, yeah, they yeah. can try to make anything at all. And so well, people don't that's kind of where at. Yeah, people don't realize that our current system is, yeah. is regressive. It's not a progressive yeah. income tax. Even though the number, the percentage technically goes up the more you make, the percentage of your take-home earnings that's being taken out in tax is is different that you have a discernible mm-hmm. income so yeah. if you take 25 percent from someone that's making 500 dollars a week that's hurting someone way more than if you take 35 percent from someone that's making you know three to four million dollars a year uh you know what math really is pisses really me. hard yeah. <laughs> you, know what, you know what really pisses me off about this whole thing though y'all it's the fact that these corporations many of them are the ones that are burdened on you know the people the american people and they're requiring people to in order to even feed themselves to not only work their job at this corporation but also apply for and benefit from food stamps they play they often pay zero tax yeah zero. Well, it's, I, I know well, what's of- funny is that, you know having worked in um uh retail and stuff like that before the minimum wage stuff um They'll take you in the back and talk to you about uh, signing up for benefits and teach you how to do it. Oh yeah, instead of just paying you. And see, that's the thing we could we could argue about. Uh, you know, there's the argument: should there be billionaires? We could argue about that, but I think the better argument would be: should there be billionaires for corporations that force their employees to get on benefits? Right, right. and no. that whole t- <laughs> no, they no. that that whole talking point that you hear people say, you know, eat the rich. <laughs> no, tax the rich. Mm-hmm. Tax there are, them. There is also a level 
So you have like the rich people, your your average millionaires, right? Who okay, don't want to be taxed and they don't want their income taken, blah, 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 right. blah, blah. And then as you get to the really, really, really high end of the scale, sometimes they can boomerang all the way back to the left and be like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give to charities. I'm going to donate money wherever I can. Like, but like it's finding that line and that like we should be able to come up with tax programs that take care of issues like this. Yeah, they well, give away, of, they give away to charity, then they get a tax write off. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all it, that's all the charity stuff exists for is for them to lower their tax. Well, burden. and that's the thing. It's it's companies like uh, GE and uh, Amazon and places like that. They should never get a tax refund, and yet that no. happens in our world. That happens. Well, yeah. These multi-billion the dollar companies yeah. get tax refunds. Don't have to pay taxes. What? Oh, what the hell, y'all? So, I mean, I think there's some stuff you can do incentivizing where you might uh, get rid of taxes um, for business and stuff there for certain expenditures. You know, so if you want to incentivize them to do certain things, whether it's a, a um, um pension plan or something like that or anything like that where you can give them so that's, much there or that's there. You know, that's there. yeah i know it's there i know it's, i know it's there but i i'm, I'm saying there, there's 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 ways there but you don't want them to do the stuff that it's the offshore and the money and all that that's, other stuff that's right the thing, the that's thing, the stuff you clear yeah. out you know what tax you know what takes you know what takes money away from offshores tax the shit out of corporations and then they're forced to yeah. build the yeah, reason yeah. why they offshore all this money is so they can get it out of the country and yep. that, that they don't have to build. Back in <sighs> when, when the uh, corporate income tax was in the upper 90s, that's when businesses were building like crazy. Yeah. And jobs were coming, you know, just hey, flowing. Because we had a middle class back then, too. Because money mm -hmm. that you spend on uh expansions and on like pension plans and things like that don't get taxed the same yep yeah it's like and and that's the thing that and especially whenever it comes to small businesses because those type of things hurt smaller businesses that can't afford to shuffle their money around and offshore it and things like that so they're forced to either lose it via taxes or reinvest all of the cushion that they possibly can you know hold up and we're talking like sub million dollar businesses yeah. a year where okay well, we made a tidy profit this year let's sock it away so we can keep our people busy during the slow time oh no we have to reinvest that so like let's go buy a new tractor and let's go get this stuff yeah. and then whenever january hits and the bottom falls out of the market they go out of business right yeah. and because they can't shuffle money around like that like the the incentivization process hurts small businesses greatly and yeah. it it does absolutely nothing to the big guys like exactly it, just, it goes know. back to you know like the i don't remember who said it but to turn a hundred dollars into a thousand dollars is really hard to turn a million dollars into another million dollars is just time mm -hmm. yeah it 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 becomes very easy to make money once you have a huge yeah. amount of money. Once once you have the capital to continue going on. Yeah. Yep. Well, and they give you all sorts of benefits and stuff for um uh, when you have the capital there and stuff there that you, you don't get when you're trying to build it up in the first when it, place. Yeah, whenever you're trying to actually build it. You know, so like you can you can uh, leverage a shit ton of debt when you have money to make more money and they'll give you good rates on it and all sorts of other stuff. It's ridiculous where you know for us, um, you know, working and stuff like that, debt's a bad thing to banks and everything else. It's yeah. almost as if this whole entire system is kind of like built around the loopholes. Well, let's yeah. burn it down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Start over. Let's start a revolution. revolution. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. <laughs> oh my God. If we just get rid of all of the rich people, everything will be better. That's right. Oh yeah. That's how yeah, you do that's, it. And that's... landlords. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, those are all rich people. Landlords <laughs> are responsible for this video we're about to watch. Oh, boy. So Why don't play. Don't play. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's off center. No. no. Uh, really? No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Content warning. Uh -huh. Thank you. Got it through. <laughs> uh. Stop.
Just oh, stop. <laughs> Just. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. no. No, what no, are you no, doing? no, no, no. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. Don't no. do it. No. What are you doing? Do no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Mix them together. <laughs> well, at least they're the peanut ones. And they're I think I'm going to be, I, I think I'm going to go David Lee Roth from now on. <laughs> this is something like that. This poor tomato, though. Oh. It, that is, that, that's going to be a crime. Sharpen your knives. It's a butter knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a crime. Oh, it's a butter knife? Oh, my yeah. God. It is. Yeah. It's totally a butter knife. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate completely. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, no. <laughs> that's like when my kids would use the Oh, ruler. my God. Why? Why would? No. No. I do that all the time. I'm pretty time. sure that was one of my kids. <laughs> the, toilet, the paper towel is oh, there. No, 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 no. This is, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, been there. Why? Uh, That's no, a job hazard. No. Oh, no. <laughs> That's just great. Oh, what my the God. Hell? <gasps> <laughs> oh, let me hold your hand. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's me when I try to shuffle. Me too. <laughs> me too. Oh no! Don't what do is, this. What is the uh, point? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. Oh. I'm already. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't. So neat. Yeah. Maybe oh. not. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, for fuck's oh. sake! Oh. <laughs> At the very, very end. <laughs> No. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, my grandma had those stencils. Don't yep. mess with the kitty. It's a little kitty cat. If you mess with that cat, oh, uh, it's a double-headed cat now. Oh. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm it trying ended. To, trying to torture yeah. y'all. Well, it okay. worked. Good job. Uh, I'm gonna oh scroll through God. a lot of this stuff because it's hey, there's a uh, kitty. You gotta have sound for this one though. This, this is, you gotta hear it. Yes. I have a cat that does that. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Ginger yeah. does that. When, it's when she sees at birds, a bird. Yeah. yeah. It's very common. A lot of cats do it. They it's chirp. Such a, such a cute little kitty. Greg had never heard it before. What are you doing? <laughs> what you the doing? Cat's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? I'm just chilling. I don't know what this one's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Rudy. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> he's insane. We knew this. Oh boy. Would you do this? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> I might. Well, there's a safety. Like I'd probably pass. So. There's a safety harness, but I'd probably pass out fuck, doing that. What the fuck is it? But now? I would triple that's exist. I would triple check yes. the damn safety harness, though. People like adventure. Don't take That's, adventure yeah. away from people, away. Maddie. <laughs> I, I do oh, things very similar you ever to seen, that on a weekly basis. So, have you seen the uh, uh, video where they're uh, skydiving out of there? It's a uh, it's a uh, physically disabled uh, guy does it, and uh, I don't know. And he has a, a seizure next there, so he can't pull his cord. <gasps> Oh no. my God! No. So the, the the other the other one jumping with them's got to dive over there and pull the emergency cord for him. Oh my God! Holy that was shit. How did that you know that trauma someone's time. having a seizure while they're skydiving? Jesus, that's. And then that's, they started they started focus. shaking around. They they, they came yeah. out of there and just but started. They're skydiving, so it's like it's, they typically it's just shaking. do this while you're. Not, yeah, yeah, they, they okay. got, so when you're, I can when see you're, that you're shaking if, around. Okay, that makes and stuff like that. They're like, oh shit, he's gonna die. Go pull it, and I, I think uh, he missed it on the first one to pull it, and then finally got the second one. But yeah, Shit. I almost died. To... Jesus, it's like well, I'm never skydiving. No. I'm fine on the ground. You know what? You know the expression though. It's you don't need a parachute to skydive. You need a parachute to skydive twice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Good point. So uh, R. Kelly was uh, charged with using bribes apparently to marry Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. Sure. So, yeah, he's already Wait, faced multiple so. sex crime charges in four cases in three states. No way, R. Kelly's a shit bag. Yep. But he's saying no. that I, I, I want to fly or something. 
<laughs> I believe. I believe I can fly. How could he do anything wrong? Oh, Whatever. Oh, this right here now. This. <sighs> this this right here. This was disturbing. This was. It was. <laughs> this was me. I'm gonna be subjected to it again. Yep. Thank goodness. That noise. <laughs> that's, that's that's the, the misophonia AS kicking in. That's the ASMR y'all needed. But Snarky's is way creepier. What? Why is? Oh, I like Snarky's better. She's not making mouth noises. That oh, yeah. it's horrifying. It's great though. I love my video. Yeah, I'm a relaxing dog. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying! It's so creepy. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> oh, and this fucking guy. A wall would be more effective than background checks. No, it wouldn't. Mm -mm. That's the same guy that stormed the yeah. impeachment hearing or uh, proceedings and said they weren't invited when they were. Yeah, he's kind of. So he wants to build uh, walls around schools now. They're going to be around little uh, castles. I guess. <laughs> yep. Don't give him uh, ideas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this clip, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. He got into an argument with a Parkland father whose uh, son was fatally shot in his high school, and tried to have him ejected from the hearing in Pensacola. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Fuck I, you, dude. Uh, yeah, the walls, uh, <laughs> the walls don't work. They're a waste of money. Now, yeah, this is this is a very interesting uh, topic here. Uh, Twitter is kind of grappling with being known as a cemetery, and what they mean by a cemetery is, you know, you have users that you know they have they've been on their Twitter and then they die, and then you know you'll get you'll go back to their Twitter and you'll leave things and it just kind of sticks around, you know, without what the user no longer being alive. So there's that. And I've had kind of an experience like that on Facebook because my mom had a Facebook. So every once in a while I'll get memories from her and it's like, wow, wow. It really hits you. Mm -hmm. uh, but apparently Twitter is uh, kind of trying to deal with how, well, should they delete the inactive accounts or how do we deal with the deceased users? So it is a really weird thing to contemplate yeah it is it is well, like like for me like i've had this i thought like so we're on youtube at least one hour a week mm -hmm. wait what so like if <laughs> what do you mean like you're on a like a youtube show well that, that's but that, i'm saying yes we're on youtube at least once a week i'm on there several uh, times a week most of us are on here several times a week so huh. like if and we're if, getting on their last nerve <laughs> so, no, you gotta listen if if i so if i were to die or if snarky were to die is that going to affect the grieving process right because if, exactly. or am i just going like if snarky dies am i just gonna sit here and watch videos of snarky for years on end mm. Mm something to think about you know that's every now and then like that's the thing like, to think about because it's still there i would still want the memories but i don't know about like continuing with the accounts per se D like i still Twitter. want pictures of people who have passed so i can like remember them or videos of people who have passed but yeah, yeah see, I, like, I think with like videos like of the the pictures or videos of the past they were mm -hmm. just small snippets right whereas like now like we have entire conversations on here mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like there's hour after hour after hour of this out here so it's like would that be like it, it's i don't know it's a weird like macabre thing for me to think about i'll tell you what i really love that evans just jumped in there delete my twitter immediately yeah, delete, like, <laughs> the YouTube, okay so like the youtube stuff is i, I think that's actually pretty neat because yeah. like especially because like we especially in my family we have several like quasi famous military generals and things like that and they're people that you would like to know a lot more about but you have just like limited correspondence and sort of oral traditions that were handed down through the family and so like YouTube is something where you could feasibly, like if we'd been born, say, 100 years in the future or something like that, 
Like right. you could know your great great grandfather, like right. what you know, you yeah. could get a, a yeah. feeling for what his personality, his or her, however their personalities are, things like that. However, like my Facebook and my Twitter, just yeah, fucking no. nuke that because without <laughs> the context, yeah. like that's the, yeah, yeah, like but, because my great great grandchildren are gonna be scrolling through my Twitter feed and be like, oh yeah, well, great grandpa Murphy, he was a real shit poster. Look at <laughs> yeah. this, you know. Yeah, but like said, some uh, of the stuff that we talk about on here, like our our ancestors are gonna come back and be like, they they were really into sodomy. <laughs> yeah, but. Again, it's, it's something, there's so a wider context there. And especially like whenever you're going through, say, like popular, like we're discussing the news now, like with the way that everything's recorded, you could go back and cross reference articles from all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine you know, the data you would well, have. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool too. the, um, the idea somebody brought this up, um, you know, with like history we have now and what's written down, we don't have what, um, you know, the everyday person thinks about something at a given time and you know something like youtube right. here would you know is fantastic now i don't imagine youtube is going to be around you know 100 years from now so it might be a moot point to begin with but um you know it's it's kind of interesting to go back and look at some of this stuff and see come um you know what everybody no. else thought about something at a time it's interesting right now because you know now that we have facebook and we have twitter we have all these things where people can vomit their their verbal diarrhea or their their thinking diarrhea just all over the place and you're, you're just like wow um uncle joe is kind of a dick uh <laughs> i could have went my whole life like we kind of get to know people that we know but i mean isn't that kind of way the uh I mean, isn't that kind of always been a, a bit of a thing, or at least, um, uh, you know, with like the Thanksgiving uh, dinner kind of cliche it's worse, and stuff like though. that? It's worse, though. It's worse, though. Because you can, like, think they're retweeting Roseanne Barr, and you're like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Like, think about our ancestors <laughs> in the future. How many of them are just going to stop once they see somebody with a MAGA hat? Right. And be like, oh, I don't need to know anymore. Yeah, we, we figured that whole thing Good. out. They were a part of the problem. I'm going to change they? my last name now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's neat. I think that, like, I think that by and large, it'll be, it, it's definitely interesting to contemplate. I think by and large, it's a good thing. Like, but yeah. again, it's one of those things, definitely leave everything on YouTube, delete Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. Like, it is. I, I still, I mean, my Facebook reminds me of stuff occasionally. I'm like, God. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, I hate time uh, off. No, could you not? Six yeah. years ago, it couldn't have been that recently. Time <laughs> off would suck my ass. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Most of my Facebook posts that come back, it's like, hey, remember this? God's so good. I'm just so happy <laughs> for this Sunday morning service. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was lying through my teeth. <laughs> but there, there's so many different dynamics that this puts on the table, though. And I, I think it's really interesting to contemplate, you know. It kind of also makes you feel like, oh, I better kind of be careful what I put online. Because shit. It's gonna no, be fuck there. that. I, well, want, I want my ancestors <laughs> to be like, ah, <clears throat> sodomy, butt stuff, and... and uh, <laughs> bunnies bunnies yeah that's and it i mean whenever like I, I think that we have to give ourselves <laughs> extra grace to whenever we're contemplating things like this because it used to be i was super careful about what i said online i was like oh, let's make sure that everything's you know and now i'm like fuck it i have dumb days you know like, <laughs> okay. and, if, and if i say something stupid i'll just look i am not a bright person and you know there i'm gonna say a lot of stupid you stuff lie. between now and the time that i die and i'm fine with that like let's just realize that people stay stupid smart people say stupid shit all the time you know what i guarantee yeah. i guarantee within 10 to 20 years it's going to be an added benefit that you can place onto like your life insurance policy um social media cleanup where it's gotta goes be through and deletes every awful thing you said and just leaves all the nice things <laughs> yeah it would, it would i mean it would be a lot of paperwork because you have to specify exactly what you mean by what's embarrassing and what's you know right it'll all be done by an algorithm 
Yeah, I was just <laughs> saying, that'll, got those that will be handled by an algorithm. You'll those just go in there and set the parameters, and it'll go. But, uh, yeah, that's a digital will. No problems at all with uh, algorithms. Well, they're so, getting better. Come on. So yeah, there's the Clinton was impeached and uh, the 20th of uh, December. There's that. Uh, okay. So I did Aww. a I did a post. I wanted uh, people to drop me gifts, and I did a kitty cat because I think this is Maru. He's got a YouTube channel. Really cute. And I got a couple of cute gifts. Oh, I think I missed this one. How did I, did I miss too. that? Uh, that's that. This one's from Mike. Aww. Mike Silver. It's one of my favorite gifts. And then we got wiener dogs. Wiener dogs. Oh, wiener it's wiener dogs. wiener dogs dressed as wieners. <laughs> yes. And then we got cheetah. Love cheetahs. They're oh, so I'm adorable. Disappointed. I missed this thread. I know. <laughs> so I put it. Doing? i don't know but uh, i was probably fighting with a communist while this was you, going on you <laughs> probably were and uh this one wombat because oh. they're wicked cute have armored butts and pooping cubes are, are cheetahs so nature's cute. alabamans no i mean because they're genetically well, inbred yeah they're more like west uh. Virginia. wow that's that's pretty uh <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty stereotypish of you yeah roll tide what what All cousin right. can you marry in in alabama first Some more cute first. that's what i thought, that's what I, thought. <laughs> I mean there's plenty of states around the country i was supposed to say that's too. like most of the states i don't though. care that's not... but it is alabama and i've win you're uh, missing you're missing the murder cloud that's what i'm watching yeah i'm, murder I'm, cloud I'm being <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, so the active shooter. Oh yeah, that, that was the story I did last night. Oh, we yes, gonna get into was. this fight? Are we gonna? Oh no! Oh. What is this fight about? Ketchup does not belong on hot dogs. Period. Yes, it does. Ketchup game. on the hot dogs. I put ketchup and mustard, and I will do it until the day that I die. And no, none of you can. That stop doesn't me. make it right. Yes. Hashtag. Great it does make it right. Too. It's awful. It's right. It's not. the right thing to do. No. Okay, hold on, hold on, you, uh, hold on, Snarky. hold on, hold on, hold on. We got two against and two for red. Where do you stand on this? Catch up on know. hot dogs, yay or nay? Um, I'm more of a mustard guy, but I'm fine with it. Oh, don't be a fucking yeah. communist now. Yeah, yeah. Don't be a serious <laughs> now. Well, it's, well, you know, it's it's catch it's up. really. Look, he was just able to catch up. Y'all weren't. So I'm just saying in the chat, we have ketchup is evil. Ketchup not on hot dogs. So oh, I yeah. think we win. Yeah, definitely. Well, that don't count. We didn't Are you saying that, Wellington no. doesn't count? We and totally Tria? Yeah. What the hell? Wow. Well, That's I like can't. making jokes about an entire state's population. She can't see the chat. I can't see the chat, so I don't know that they exist. So it doesn't ketchup exist. Ketchup doesn't belong on anything. I agree, Tria. I so, like ketchup. The only time that ketchup is acceptable, except, <laughs> yeah, acceptable, whatever, Mustard people can't talk. Yeah, they no. The only thing that ketchup can go on is French fries. If you have nothing else, what I will eat uh, them plain. If you have nothing else to dip your French fry in, ketchup is okay. Much better I put with ketchup in my sauce. I use mayo for French fries a lot. Ketchup and your chili. You're so Wisconsin. Yeah, I am so Wisconsin. <laughs> mayo. I wonder why. Mayo on your French. Come on. It's good. So this put, was a thing that happened. Catch up on your tacos. Oh, no, <laughs> why? Why not? Why because not? a taco is not a hot dog. Ketchup is basically it's, like a really sure? mild yes. salsa. No, yeah, it's, it is. no, it's not even close to a salsa. No. So this, so this was a thing that happened. Moving on from the the, <laughs> the, the condiment argument we were having. So uh, screenshot shared by God's Cranium. Some guy named Zach says crypto currency and whatever. Aren't jails, prisons already overcrowded? Andrew, yes, I'm willing to consider corporal punishment for adultery as well as all other crimes. 
But like adultery <laughs> isn't even a jailable crime anymore. Well, so that, that was that was the do. original the Just original wait. post. Wait till the next one. The for context, the original post was adultery should be reinstituted as a crime. Holy yes. shit! That was the original. Yeah. yeah. And the next guy, corporal punishment needs to make a comeback. I would rather be beaten for minor crimes than lost years of my life in jail. Adultery should be illegal. Oh, no, fuck. it shouldn't. Oh, that's just someone who's into s and ah, That's what I was thinking, but okay. I wouldn't disparage people that are into s and No, I'm not saying like... <laughs> that, but I mean, it's a, it's a Catholic. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's a, another trad cath. Uh, yeah, it's probably. Who, who's, uh, you know, and feels kind of ashamed of, that he's into that kind of stuff. Yeah, and the thing about this that really <sighs> bothered me is, uh, like, my dad was abusive to my mom, so the first thing that popped in my head was, oh, they just want to hit their spouse. Yeah. Just, they they want to apologize for treating their women, for hitting their women, basically. That's, at least that's the, the, the feel I got from it. Well, and the well reason- I like it. The vibe. Uh, yeah, the, the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what I love is is the Christians that wake up and go, you know what? You know what America would be better like? Saudi Arabia. Right. That's what we should be like. 50 <laughs> lashes in the, ta- the town square. Cut the thieves' hand off. Let's go back to beheadings. Like, oh, my God. Come on, y'all. But, but then they'll get, on, they'll get on YouTube and talk about the regressive left. Yeah. It's just well, the- I mean, that's Christ-like. Christ would want you to... You know, so the reason, okay, so there's a reason adultery was basically stricken off the law books that it wasn't going to be a crime anymore. <laughs> it's because it was never something that was doled out evenly. It was always much more women that were yep. getting accused of adultery than men because women, uh, people with, with uteruses have a chance of getting pregnant through sex. Right. So they yep. get caught. And, and, and so, yeah, they would get caught. A guy could go out and commit adultery constantly. Yeah. And, and that's nothing. That's why That's why when I read this, I was thinking, oh, my God, this is just dripping with misogyny. Yeah. You want and, women to be punished. This is yeah. that's ex- I guarantee that's what they want. Yeah. Keep her in line, y'all. Keep her in line. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, yeah, that was the thing. And here's an owl because I love owls. And here's Aww. an owl. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the go-betweens on this are so weird. Oh, Whoosh. <laughs> we go from hey. corporal punishment for adultery to, and here's an owl. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we gotta have palate cleansers because I wouldn't be hey. able to do this fucking show if we didn't. No shit. <laughs> oh, okay. So Discord is down and everybody went nuts, apparently. Discord went was down. down. It was down for a little while. Now it's apparently back up, but it was down <laughs> I, for a little while. I've it, Discorded once. I hate I Discord. tried. I, it's terrible. I, I couldn't yeah. get into it, y'all. I'm sorry. I just could not. So if, if, you, if I'm in your Discord and you never hear from me, or if you sent me a message on Discord like a month ago and I haven't responded. That's why I don't Discord. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I just I'm on Discord about once a day to generally say, hey, sorry, I haven't been on very much. How y'all doing? <laughs> and then it's the next day. <laughs> I'm horrible with Discord. Because at yeah. one point I had it to where it was uh, popping up as a notification and I would just get Discord notifications <laughs> like crazy. Like every two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And so I I eliminated the disabled the notifications for it. And now I'm just like it's very rare I get on Discord. Yeah, no, I, I disabled <laughs> all of my social media notifications. Look, you, for, uh, you I love this. You one. totally wrote this wrong though, because the conversation was, I got to update my computer, and I said, you got to lubricate. And you said update. Oh, I thought you said lubricate. Oh, oops. yeah. So the conversation. Is there some gaslighting like, going yeah, on? This is funnier. So you know what? Oh my god! It was refined. <laughs> it was refined. I'm gonna say that. It. I. I think it's better. Yeah. I'll. I'll admit wow. that. Wow. I take your reality and I substitute my own. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
But yeah, I thought I, she said on, lubricate. Uh, yeah, because that sounds just like update. Lubricate, update. Yeah, I could see that. They, they both end in uh, eight. Also, also, I was told that I mumble a lot whenever I speak, and I sound a lot like Charlie Brown's teacher when I'm talking. It's totally true. Is, is it true? I totally understand you. I'm not sure why they're pretending that they don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they have selective hearing <laughs> no. and they don't hear me. Okay, so. here's the thing Actually, that Snarky does a lot. Okay, here's something oh Snarky God. does a lot. I'm gonna. I'm, we're going for this. We're going. Snarky will start yeah. saying something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are, are you are you sure you want to proceed yes. with this? Yes, I am. <laughs> this is your last chance. Remember that you had a chance okay. to bail out. Last chance. Snarky will start to say something, and then she'll turn her head as she's saying it. And as soon as she turns her head away, I can't hear shit. I turn my head. Yes, you turn your head. You're talking straight to me, and I'm hearing everything you say, and then you turn your head, and I'm like, I didn't. Look, y'all, when, whenever I'm talking, I turn my head, and you totally can't hear me at all right now, can you? Yeah. What? You can't hear. What? It's you, much yeah, harder can, for me. Yeah, I totally can hear you. What was that? What? Hang. I, you know, I do have to say, though, that I have really bad hearing, and I can't hear, like, I hear female voices, like, like the higher end of the frequency, better. So there are plenty of times where Greg has to like say things four times before I can actually hear it. Yeah, and just for the record, I'm are not you sure the that's only... not just because you're distracted by his lack of pants? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yes, to be I'm, fair, I'm so distracted by the lack of pants. To be very fair to me, I'm not the only person that this happens with Maddie. Uh, cause Maddie will be concentrating on something because Maddie's on the computer and typing and doing things. And then little snarky will say something and Maddie's like, huh? It's the same thing. What a great a segment snarky. for tomorrow night on spectrum chats. We're going to be discussing <laughs> symptoms of autism. Uh, yeah. One symptoms of them is of hard. It's very hard to focus on more than one thing at a time. Yeah, it sure is. And it's sure not my fucking fault. I, I, wow. <laughs> I turned Sorry, my Greg was yelling. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> we haven't had Why are they talking about my pants? Yeah, no, <laughs> he's like, I knew it. <laughs> 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 no, but it, it's just like, it's one of those things where like, we know each other's idiosyncratic things, especially, you know, us both being on the spectrum, we have these things that kind of clash. And I like not having to repeat myself is one of my things. And I always, always have to repeat myself with Maddie. I would also like to point out that her chair is positioned on the side of my head that I have hearing loss in that ear. I would also like to say, I love you still. I love you too. (laughs) Well, that's. Yeah. yeah. Should I play this video? I don't even know Should what I? it is. Sure. Let's let's go ahead and play it because well, I hope it's not too loud. Oh, turn the sound. Oh, that's super loud, yeah. Well, we can't hear the music. Well, that's kind of the point because it's music. <laughs> well, it's not funny without the music. Oh. So, oh. so yeah. Well, it didn't seem really that. funny to begin with. Bye, oh. merch. Oh, I'm listening to it. <laughs> Yes, bye. buy Snarky's merch. Bye bye yes. merch. And once again, uh, use the promo B U N for Snarky for 15% off until Christmas Eve. And you can buy my merch uh, and use the code Last Chance. And that's all in caps locks Last Chance, no space, uh, and get 10% off my merch. Yeah. Do I, I don't have any merch. Buy our merch. So, so if you're going to buy some of my merch, buy some of their merch. Yeah. 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 Buy our merch. So, yeah, that's the show, y'all. I don't know how to end this because this isn't my channel. Oh. Do I say the same way I... that you'd end it before? Oh, okay. So that's been the show. Thank you all, my panelists. Let's go ahead and go through and introduce everyone again. Maddie. I'm Maddie. This is my channel. If you're not subscribed here, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casey. Hi, I'm Pastor Heathen. If you feel like checking out my channel um, or on me on Twitter too, 
And you can find me on Friday nights here and then Saturday nights here again for different shows. I was just going to say you can find me on Saturday nights on Snarky's, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'll be. This will be on Snarky's channel tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> we can watch it all over again. <laughs> yes. All right, and Red. Yeah. Um, check out my channel. I got a few videos over there. It's uh, Red Venture. Um, yeah, you should start seeing some more content pop up on there now that works. Uh, finally slowed down enough to get back to work on it. Right on. Can All I just, right. Can I just say real quick, if you have a no. specific set of skills, no one can see this. I'll just no. read it. It says there is a job for a lube technician Southern. <laughs> lube oh. technician Southern. So if you'd like to, if you'd like, and Tria just sent a super chat. <laughs> I don't take kindly to threats. Unsub. <laughs> oh, no. It's true. She said <laughs> earlier she doesn't take that kindly to threats, and then the threats came again. So yep. don't unsub. Uh, don't. That's the magic word right don't there. So, for me. Wait a minute. Does that mean that next time we get into an argument, all I have to do is say I'll unsubscribe and I'll oh. win? No. <laughs> no, because I haven't been subscribed to you for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm shocked. I'm appalled. Evans, what's your channel about? It's don't sub. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow me on Twitter, no matter what you do. That's awesome. That's even more terrible. Follow us all on Twitter, y'all. Definitely did did the Twitter thing. Uh, there's always a dumpster fire to jump into. Yep. So yeah, buy my merch and uh, know yourself and stay snarky. Did we did we have red? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Bye, everybody. A special thank you to all my wonderful patrons. I really appreciate your support. Also, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss another snarky video. Don't forget to know yourself and stay snarky.